Hi, I'm Gary Rodriguez with the City of Far Media Department, and today we continue the City of Far Spotlight on Directors. It's our opportunity to introduce all the department heads and directors that work for you, sometimes 24 hours a day. Our guest today is Innovation and Technology Director, Mr. Jose Pena. Mr. Pena, thank you for your time today, and we know you're busy, so we'll try to get you back on the job as soon as possible. Perfect. Innovation technology is a always changing dynamic, whether it's in the private sector, in the business sector, or in the government sector. Mr. Benya has a big role to play here. He ensures that all the departments have all the innovative and information technology available, not only available, but also necessary. First of all, we want to ask Mr. Jose Pena. Mr. Pena, give us a little bit about your background and how you came to the great city of Far. Sure, uh, and thank you for, for speaking to me today. Yes, sir. Uh, my prof professional experience has been in local government. I uh, spent 15 years now in local government. Uh, started with the city of McAllen, and then transitioned over to the city of Westlaco, and now I'm here with FAR. Uh, so again, very familiar with local government, how it operates, uh, technology needs, and improvements, and uh, that's kind of, um, what I would say is my uh, uh, forte and you know I try to bring this experience here and make changes as needed. What kind of workload does the City of FAR have or require to maintain all the internet connections, the emails going intra-city and externally from the city? Yeah. Uh, what are our requirements just to give our viewer uh, an understanding of what your scope of work is, number one, and number two, sure. how we use those resources to facilitate communication with our community. Sure, uh, there's a lot of different factors. Uh, you know, you know, we also we run all the city websites, we run email services, we run um, the phone systems, uh, we have multiple uh, video surveillance solutions, we have. Uh, um, Wi-Fi is in different city facilities mm -hmm. and, as well as you know operating our servers and our storage systems that we have and we have we have to always uh, be on top of things you yes. know we have monitoring tools that notify us whenever any service goes down so that uh, our staff uh, who's very sharp can can get on it and, and resolve the issues and uh, get everybody back up to work uh, we also uh, are more of an internal service department where our customers are the other city departments, but you know our web presence is kind of our our our, our piece that mm -hmm. you know it helps the public kind of see what different departments do. Okay, thank you very much for that information. Now tell us um, about the dynamics of information, internet technology in general. Uh, across mm -hmm. the spectrum. How's it changing? How fast is it changing? And um, do you see any new trends uh, that we need to be aware of? And how do you keep up with all that? Uh, one of the latest things right now is security. You know, it's where we want to protect our data. We want our networks to be clean and not be affected. Uh, that, there's a, not, a lot of that going on. Uh, so we have to stay up to date and have our systems patched up and, and stay on top of cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. So that's very critical to us. Um, again, it, any service goes down, it could affect a small department or it could affect a bigger area. But uh, you know, the other is there's lots of changes in the storage environment. You know, we recently purchased a new solution for the police department mm -hmm. and uh, who's gonna eventually be one of the first systems here in the valley that a city is going to be operating. So wow. we look forward to, to getting that implemented and being able to get our, our equipment uh, upgraded and always functional. Good. We're talking with City of Our Innovative Technology Di Department Director, Mr. Jose Pena. Um, and his job also affects you, especially if you access uh, some of the city Wi-Fi uh, around FAR. Uh, especially at the FAR Library. What is your commitment to our viewer that needs uh, Wi-Fi access wherever they are in FAR? Obviously, you probably can't provide Wi-Fi access to all points of FAR, but there are some areas that you do provide uh, free Wi-Fi to. What can you tell him or her? Well, we are uh, very proactive, and again, that comes from the leadership and management. 
So we're looking at uh, uh, Wi-Fi at all our city facilities. We're also looking at eventually uh, doing more uh, video surveillance at our parks and more Wi-Fi at our mm -hmm. parks. Uh, we also are uh, running a pilot program, uh, as the mayor brought up during the State of the City, where we're looking at uh, pushing Wi-Fi to the homes. So, uh, so that's currently running as well. Sure. So there's a lot of initiatives and you know, slow, slowly we'll be able to bring them to fruition and, and make it more accessible to everybody. And a lot of them right now are, are behind the scenes, maybe yes. under the radar, but rest yeah. assured, uh, our mayor, Dr. Ambrosio Hernandez, and our city manager, Juan Guerra, and your uh, IT director, Jose Pena, are working on a plan. And the plan is to provide you with uh, uh, the fastest uh, internet access uh, available uh, and also the most cost effective Talk about how we save the citizens money with things that uh, that you've brought to the table, uh, i.e. consolidating computer purchases and things of that nature. Sure. Uh, again, it's one of those things where it's it's uh, critical to everybody. You know, everybody operates computers, and it's one of those where we're focusing to being able to do more bulk purchases so that uh, we get a lot of our employees up to speed and, and getting them to become more efficient in their day-to-day -day operations, uh, which was a, a very critical aspect mm -hmm. and uh, affecting some operations. Um, again, with the uh, new project we did for the police department, hopefully uh, right now it's uh, underway, uh, we'll be able to run uh, our servers and be able to have the growth to, to keep going down the road. We're not just buying a solution for today, but it's uh, you know the latest thing going on in technology, which is hyperconverged systems. So hopefully we'll be able to keep doing this and improve different services wherever we can. Well, Mr. Pena, thank you so much. Uh, now that you've told us about your work responsibilities, obligations, expectations, and how you are ensuring uh, the very best of Wi-Fi and mm -hmm. internet connectivity to our community, uh, tell us what you do after hours, maybe on the weekends, uh, with the family or just on your own. Sure. Um, well, I'm married uh, with two children, nine and five, and another one on the way here Congratulations. This, this July. So looking forward to that. But uh, they keep me busy. So, uh, you know, we like doing all the soccer teams, the basketball, uh, t-ball and little league. So that, they keep me busy. Uh, the boys, you know, it's a lot of fun. You know, we like visiting the parks and doing stuff with them, so Good. Uh, we're very uh, active and want to keep them involved in athletics and keep them healthy. Well, I think that's uh, one of the purposes of this director spotlight. Our city mm -hmm. manager uh, wants you to know that uh, the men and women working for you also have uh, uh, families or uh, lives after work, and he thinks it's important that everybody take a minute to relax, decompress, and, and recharge so that when we do come back to the office, we are more effective for you and certainly more responsive. We've been meeting with Innovative and Technology Department Director, Mr. Jose Pena, and this has been your City of Far Director Spotlight. Mr. Pena, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.